What's going on, everyone? I'm Hunter Dola here from Philly Insider Podcast, recording this for a second time because my second recording did not go through. But we're out here doing it anyway. And the Sixers got DeAnthony Melton tonight. I'm sure you guys all know. Danny Green in the 23rd pick um, in the trade. So I'm just going to be going over my thoughts on it. First off, you know, DeAnthony is a 24-year-old combo guard um, at six foot two. He he grabs boards. I think that's something I want to mention right off the bat is that I was very surprised at how well he rebounded, not just by the numbers, but on, on film too. He hustles. He hustles. And I think that's something, you know, we talked about it. Um, the Sixers talked about it. Joel and B talked about it. We need dogs in this lineup. We need dogs. We need that dog mentality that Nick Sirianni and the Eagles talk about all the time. Um, we don't have that right now. And this is a guy who brings that in, you know, every aspect of the game that he kind of contributes in. He's very athletic, too. He'll, he'll, he'll get the crowd on his feet with the posterizer. I'm sure you guys have seen the clips um, of, of him posterizing dudes earlier this year. Um, and that's great. Obviously, that's not something you're you're super concerned about if someone can't do, but it does help to have that athleticism and, and definitely expand your game a little bit more. So I'm sure that'll get Sixers fans hype on him. Um, but yeah, let's just go down to his numbers here. Um, and I'm also just going to talk about, you know, what I've seen from him just from, you know, some of the games I've watched, some of what I've read from Grizzlies fans who have watched more games, obviously, than me of Anthony Melton. Um, and yeah, just just kind of my, my general analysis on him. Um, he's obviously gotten better throughout the years. He was a Daryl Morey draft pick, went to Phoenix then, um, and then ended up with Memphis for the past three years. And you can see he's really improved his three-point per shooting or three-point percentage over the past few years. And credit to Mr. Crockpot, I believe he tweeted out in his video that he was 40 plus percent on catch and shoot this past season. Um, and he shot 38.8 percent over the past two seasons. Really an aspect of his game that's gotten better. And we're going to need that on the outside for sure. It's nice to have a bench guy who can do that. But also, in addition to that, also impact the game defensively. Um, very lengthy. I believe he has either a 6'8 or 6'9 wingspan, active hands. He'll, he'll get up in your grill and, you know, make, make it, give a good contest and really make it a tough shot. Um, but also, he'll, he'll be disrupting passing lanes too. Like, he's not going to let you get an easy pass by any means. I mean, it, 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 it's really, it's really going to be a tight window if you try to make a pass into the lane on him. Um, very, very active off-ball defender. I mean, that's that's a huge part of his his defense, I think, um, as well as just being able to play up on his man and contest shots. So um, I really like the defense he brings. I think that's a huge aspect of his game. You can see the defensive numbers there. They're good. I believe he – I think Austin Krell tweeted out that he's like top in steal and block percentage among guards or something like that. I don't have the actual stat or number, but – um, yeah, I mean, he impacts the game massively on, on the defensive side. And I think that's something, those three aspects I mentioned, the shooting, obviously, you know, 3 and D guys, they're going to be streaky shooters to an extent. You can see the past couple of years, he's been on the, the the better end of that streakiness, right? He's been contributing. He's he's had positive contributions, right? Um, you know, the shooting, the rebounding for a guy his size it just shows the hustle, the defense, the plays in transition, you know, I, I really think those aspects of his game, you know, you look at the other guys we have right now. First off, with Danny Green. I do want to say, first off, I should have done this at the beginning of the video. Thank you to Danny Green. We made another Danny Green season review video already. Um, never wish injury on any player. I'm so thankful for the time he spent here. I know he was streaky, but, you know, he was a veteran guy. He wanted to help change the culture here. And when he was hot, he was hot. Obviously, it was a roller coaster, but... Um, you know, it was fun to see him shoot from the corner. He was very good from there. And yeah, I do appreciate him for the two years he spent here. But going back to the analysis part of it, you know, look, you have Danny. Obviously, Danny, like I said, he was streaky. Um, two, he's older. At this at this point in his career, D'Anthony Melton's defense is probably much better. Um, and that's not to say Danny's not a good defender anymore. I still think he can impact the, the game to some extent defensively, but you know, it's it's not the same as it used to be, obviously. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really Danny Green's. That's really Danny Green's game. Is just is just that. And I think Melton having a little more variety to his game and being a little more well rounded at this point in his career, at least, right? I'm not discounting what Danny Green did earlier. I think that gives Mel, uh, Melton an edge. And then you look at the rest of the guys on our team. You know, Matisse Thybul. I'm not trying to bash Matisse Thybul in this video. That's not what this for. But you know. If he's not contributing well enough on defense, if he's getting beat a little bit on the defensive side, which doesn't happen too often, but did happen in the Heat series, what else is he doing, right? The offense is obviously not there. 
the catch and shoot ability has not been developed. The offensive game as a whole has not been developed outside of some backdoor cuts and transition buckets. Um, and even the transition buckets can be iffy with some of those layups sometimes. So, um, and then, you, you know, you look at the other guy, like shaking, shaking cork miles last year, being asked to step up into bigger roles. Like I said, Melton, a combo guard n- n- ball handling is not the aspect of his game. I want to highlight per se. I mean, look, um, it's, it's, I'm not going to act like he's a great ball handler. I think he's getting better at it. I mean, that's why you kind of see the uptick in points there, but I'm not going to count on that aspect of his game with the Sixers. I'm definitely going to count more on the perimeter, um, the perimeter shooting and providing spacing. But I do think he can ball handle a little bit if we need him to, at least it's not, it's not a part of his game. That's just, you know, completely dis like it's, it's, it's not non-existent, right? I, I do want to emphasize that, um, you know, with Shake and Quirk Maz, they definitely do have their deficiencies. And, you know, it's just tough when you're so short on your bench after trading Curry and Drummond to have to rely on guys like that and some of the other guys I mentioned, too. Um, not to mention with Drummond, the backup center position hole that we had. But that's a whole other conversation. You know, I just like the I like the fact that Melton brings these these different aspects of the game. And, and even if he's not shooting well, he will impact the game defensively. He will impact the game as a rebounder and as a hustler and just as a spark plug, honestly. Um, he's going to make this team better. And I think he's going to bring a new attitude, to the, like help bring a new attitude, attitude to this team, right? Like I'm not saying he's the end-all be-all. But um, also I think something to mention, he is a year younger than Matisse Thibel. I'm not saying that as a diss on Matisse Thibel. I'm just saying like he's not – he's not – like he's 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 young. He is young and he's still got plenty of – Plenty of years left. I forget who tweeted this out, but they said it perfectly. I will link it below, um, as well as a link to an article that I really like from the Grizzlies where um, they really did, they really gave a really good season review on Melton. But this person on Twitter said that Melton can help us win now as well as win later. And I love that because I think it's so, so true. Um, and I think it's important to have guys like that because I think my problem with some of the, the back of the bench guys we have now is that, you know, I'm not even sure if they're win later. Like I, I think they could be, and I think they could develop, but I still, I still need to see more, right. To determine that. And it's important to have guys who impact the game on both sides of the court right now. And I think we just got that in Melton. Um, you did trade the 23rd pick, but I'm not too concerned about that. Like Melton's already a proven player. You don't know who you would have gotten at 23 or if doc would even played them to be honest. So um, yeah, I mean, the other thing I'll mention is, you know, just talking about 3 and D guys, I know him and Yang are different players, but um, you just look at Yang last year. I mean, I talked about the other guys and their deficiencies as well. This is the last guy I'll mention, too. Um, look, Yang was obviously, when he was on, he was a good shooter. Um, but when he did not shoot well in that Heat series, there wasn't much else he was bringing to the table. The defense was obviously pretty non-existent. He's not very athletic or mobile there. Um, and, the, yeah, like I said, like he's not doing much else other than than shooting. So I think that's the nice thing about Melton. One aspect of it, one aspect of his game isn't working well, still contributing in other areas. I think that's so, so key. Um, the last con I'll mention is did not perform well in the playoffs. And in April, uh, that's the article I was mentioning that pointed this out to me. That's a concern. You know, I, I think the, the reasons I'm, I'm okay with it is one, it's even with him struggling it's still better than what we had because what we had struggled in those moments too, if we're being completely honest. So, you know, the bench has not been a strong suit when we've come down to April and the postseason in the past few years. Um, that for one, you know, two, like I said, he's contributing in other areas. And three, he is still fairly young. I don't want to make that excuse for him and not make it for other guys because I've definitely been very hard on our other young guys who haven't been quite – performing very well in the playoffs, but I do think Melton, you at least get some other aspects of the game, which I know I've been repetitive about, but I do want to hammer down that point um, and just emphasize how important that is to me. So that's what I got on Melton, guys. I know I kind of rambled. Um, you guys are probably tired hearing me, but um, look, I like the pickup. We'll see how it pans out. I think he's going to be a good addition to the bench, good death piece for sure. And he started 15 games from Memphis last year. He's got plenty of experience. Um, he's still a young player, still got room to grow. And I don't think we're done yet. I think we are going to make some more moves. I think we're going to be active in free agency. We'll see what happens. Plenty of rumors swelling. I can understand if it's a little underwhelming just because 
this wasn't the move everyone thought was going to happen tonight. There was a lot of other stuff going on that people thought was going to happen. And just, I mean, a bunch of stuff in general. You got the Kyrie six team list that came out. I mean, you know, KD stuff's rolling around. I mean, obviously, you know, that's that stuff. I mean, it's just there's just so much going on right now. That that stuff's obviously unrealistic to an extent, but um, just in, I just mean just in general, there's so much going on right now, and I'm sure this was a little bit underwhelming to just see. Oh, just see Anthony Melton. But for those of you who don't know him, I do think there is reason to be excited about him. Um, I really do. And while it might not be, you know, the move we all thought was going to happen. I do think it's something that's really going to positively impact this basketball team um, for a good bit. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns. Let me know what you guys think of the pickup. I'd love to hear your thoughts and just interact with you guys. Um, and, yeah, trust the process. God bless you all. I'll see you all later. Peace out.